Hello everyone, in today's tutorial I would like to show you how you can create refunds in Shopify. But before I show you the demonstration, uh, there are a few things I would like to point out. In Shopify you can only refund back to the original payment method. For example, if customer paid via Shopify payments and they used Visa, you can only refund to their Visa. And number two, the credit card transaction fees, which you incur as a merchant, are not returned back to you after refund. And uh, three, refunds can take at maximum 10 business days to process. But uh, from my experience here in, in Canada, it usually takes three to five business days to process. So now let's go with the actual demonstration. So once you're logged into your um, Shopify admin panel, uh, go to um, orders and then select the order which you would like to refund. So let's say I would like to refund this order. Um, the order has already been fulfilled and um, now you have to look for the button which is called refund and uh, just click on it. So from here you have a few options. You can do either full refund or partial, partial refund. To do a full refund you essentially have to uh, add uh, quantities for each product into this field. For example, let's refund product two, one quantity, product three, two quantities, because the customer purchased two, and uh, product four, three quantities. Um, so, plus you also have an option to restock items. Basically, if you, you enable it, after you initiate the refund, the, your stock will increase. In Shopify because these products will be put back on shelf and also uh, you can either do a partial or full refund for shipping so customer pay ten dollars for shipping you can either give back ten dollars or you can just don't refund anything just leave it zero so uh, let's say but in my case I would like to refund full order and uh, Originally was $70 and as you can see the full refunds also $70. In my case you do not see taxes here because uh, this is a development store I have an enable collection of taxes but in your case if you do collect taxes you will uh, likely um, refund them too. So once it's all uh, ready you just either can send notification to a customer if they enable their if they add the email address in the order form or you know if you don't want to send the notification you just can disable it and but in my case i'll send notification and click refund and that's it the refund is processed and it will take several business days to show up on a credit card uh, history on on the customer side so I hope this video was helpful and uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.